the morning after the night before. A bit husky as you can hear. Had a couple of good gigs in a row, Friday and Saturday night. And um, last week was a bit of a rush around because my uh, Gator Frameworks uh, speaker stand, one of them broke and it was a, a fault that actually uh, has happened before and I'm trying to get the part. It was for the strut that goes between the centre pole and the leg underneath very thin on these and it's a part of the folding mechanism because they fold in fact let me show you they fold into a tube can you see that quite a small format they do go quite high and they've got the pneumatic lift I've been very pleased with them they're very expensive in fact they're much more expensive now in the UK as they were a couple of years back when I first bought them they kind of zoomed up in price um, but the fault happened originally under warranty, now not. I'm trying to get a replacement part for it, but I needed stands. Now I had sort of some of these cheap, sorry for the camera work, trying to do these cheap stands you get, I don't know, 30 bucks for two in a case, and I, I had them, I don't know why I had them actually. I think I just bought them in an emergency before. Um, but I bought these ultimate support stands with the locking mechanism. They're not power lift, but because of the mechanism, you can lift them quite easily and they stay there and then drop them back down. It's worked very well, my first gig last night. Now I got the extra tall ones. Um, they can double up as a lighting stand as well. Um, they've got like an adapter on the top, let me show you. Here, you press these together and this middle bit comes up and that allows you to put a speaker on. But as it is, you can put a, a T-bar on it. So that works really well. Um, what I was amazed with the fact that these were lighter than this and much more sturdy. Probably the most sturdy speaker stand that I've come across. As I said, this is the uh, the tall version of the stand and it is tall, really tall. Uh, I mean, I've only got little K10s and I put them up, it must have been nine feet. feet but they weren't fully extended. They were right up, I had a really high ceiling. And what I wanted to do is take them up and then with the K10s, you can point the speakers down slightly onto the dance floor. That worked really well with one sub. Um, but uh, yeah, I was kind of, I mean, it was the first time I used them. I was kind of rattling them around a little bit and seeing how they worked. Um, and I know some of you guys have had ultimate stands. So, to be honest, they were always a, uh, a bit expensive when I was ready to, to pay more money. I saw a, f a few reviews on the Gator one and I went for that. I'm not disappointed. I suppose I've had my money's worth and I will get them repaired somehow. And because they're tall, I'm going to use them as light lighting stands or spare speaker stands maybe. Um, but really, I, I wish I'd gone for the ultimate ones. Um, you can buy replacement parts easily for, for every part of the stand. Now, I believe that um, this... Uh, is it tele lock or something easy lock or something like that is the system may be phasing out because they've got their own pneumatic versions but the, why did you get the tall ones you may or may not ask well i went on amazon to be honest and they were so much cheaper i think they mispriced them up i got them for about 50 bucks each when the normal shorter version was 100 bucks i think something like that and now i've looked today and the tall ones are way up so I think I got a bit of a bargain but even if you pay full price I think they're a bargain um, I think a lot of DJs that are still on the uh, uh, the normal speaker not the array system go and buy one of these you know or get these stands these type of stands these cheap stands I don't feel happy with them they're not safe they're not high enough um, if someone bumped into them no chance and they're not getting high enough above the crowd to spread the sound. It's worth spending a bit more and getting the quality. Yeah, I'm accused sometimes of being cheap. Uh, I, I know that's been mentioned, but I'm not. I like value, and uh, I really see the value in spending more money on a quality speaker stand. Anyway, I'm unpacking some stuff now, and uh, I've got to go out. Just a quick message to you all. Anyway, from me, in uh, rather gloomy... Autumn Berkshire. Hey, practice and enjoy.